We get an opportunity now to be able to speak with one of the inductees into this year's Bucknell Athletics Hall of Fame class. He is David Marble from the wrestling program. Dave, congratulations. What a tremendous honor for you. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm honored to be here, honored to be inducted. And you can't tell, I'm a little short, but I stand on the shoulder of giants. You stand on the shoulder of giants because you were in the very first class that Coach Dan Warrensberger had here at Bucknell with the reinstatement of uh, wrestling. How much did you know about that, you know, wrestling being dropped and then coming back? And what was it about Coach Warrensberger, the Bucknell you know, University as a whole, the program, that made you want to be a part of that very first program in terms of his first recruiting class? Well, pretty much all I knew was that there was a new opportunity in a D1 program at a fantastic school, and I had a chance to make an impact right out of the gate. That was very appealing to me. Dan was likable from the get-go. Um, I liked everything that I had heard and seen about him, and we had a great class coming in, so that obviously gave us some life right out of the shoot, but I was excited um, to be able to start a program or help start a program um, it was very special to me, and I'm, I'm proud to have been there when we got here. And, you know, you mentioned to be a part of a program, and that program was so successful. First off, we'll talk about your success. All four years you placed in the top five in a great conference, the EIWA, and four years in a row you made it to the NCAA tournament. When you look back on that, what's the more impressive part, doing what you did, making it to the NCAA, or finishing in the top five in the EIWA every year? I think it varies year to year. Um, to go four years in a row is tough to do for, for just about anybody. Um, but the toughness of the conference with an all-freshman team my first year, um, I think placing as a freshman and getting there to the NCAAs as a freshman was probably the, the biggest thing that I achieved. When you came here, you knew, of course, that this was a brand new program. You knew how special of a wrestler you were. But did you really think that that first year you would have all the accomplishments that you did? No, uh, especially once I got into the room and everybody I went with seemed to be beating me up on a daily basis. Um, it was tough. That's why I tried to quit. It was really hard. School was hard. It took a while to get accustomed and to find something different inside myself to get through that and then realize, okay, we'll be okay. This is a part of getting better. And all of these kids that are beating me up are helping me get better. I don't think I knew that you almost quit. So what was the, the, the light bulb or whatever that came on that made you say, I'm going to tough it out? Well, um, some of it was Coach Hoffman coming to steal me out of the calf, which is the first place I went when I thought I was quitting. Um, but I had talked to my dad. I had talked to my high school coach. And they basically said, do what you think is right. And they didn't try to talk me out of it. They said, do what you think is right. And I was like, OK, well, uh, I think the right thing is to stay and tough it out. The easy choice would have been to quit, um, but that would have been harder long term. It would, I think it would have been harder to get through school without all that structure and discipline, harder as a father, harder as an employee. Um, and so I'm really happy that I did. Oh, we're really happy too. Now looking back on it, making it to the Hall of Fame, all of those tough times, was it worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the friendships are the biggest takeaway from all of this. Um, obviously very close with Andy Rendas, Coach LaValle, and many, many others. And I've been to so many weddings, um, seen so many kids grow up alongside mine, and that's the really special stuff now, to go through all those tough times together and to keep our relationship what's coming up on 15 years. Yeah, it's hard to believe you've been out of school 15 years. Um, and, and yet, you know, well, when you first started and so forth and you first decided to come to Bucknell, and yet you have not left Bucknell in many ways. I mean, even when you were a wrestler here and a student and an athlete, you loved Bucknell. You did a lot of things on campus. And then once you graduated, you came back and worked at Bucknell. What is it about Bucknell that made this place so special to you? Well, this place is like home um, when you are uh, when you spend four years here and you go through the things that we had to go through, you develop a family. And Coach Wernsberger and Dana are like a family. So is Coach Kevin. Um, and then there's all the relationships on campus with the faculty, staff, almost everybody in the athletic department I've gotten to know really, really well. And then you get hooked into a community that you don't ever want to leave. Um, I did leave and then ultimately drug my wife back up here. Um, and it's just, like I said, like it's home. It's a second home to me. 
Well, it's a second home because you're part of the family. Congratulations, Dave, on being inducted into the Bucknell Athletics Hall of Fame. Great, great honor, buddy. Thank you very much, Doug. It's been great to know you for a long time as well. Great to know you too, bud. Dave Barbell, one of the inductees into this year's Athletics Hall of Fame class.